And yeah. I was like, well, you're either staying at a friend's house or you're grabbing a hotel room, right? You're but, grinded. But, but it actually makes way more sense than them having to leave every half an hour. I mean, we've sometimes had 18 showings in a day. Oh, you can't live in that. Well, what do you do? You just have to go meet, like, find time and hang out at people's houses that don't want you there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> I've been kidding. here all like, day. They're like, oh, I think it's time for you to go home. You're like, my last showing's at 9.30 so p.m. Close. Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bamford & Co. podcast. My name is Gary and I am here with my good buddy, Greg. Hello, brother. Good to see you again. Nice to see you, Gary. See that? And then look at that switch. That's the magic of TV. So if you haven't seen one of these before, they're probably the most entertaining podcast in the history of real estate. And I say that because I actually am entertained and informed every time I watch. Thanks, buddy. I so really appreciate it. Maybe my humble opinion, but and maybe a little bit biased. You are still, a little biased. If, if I have to <laughs> watch cats. one, if I, that's true. we go deep. Yeah, but Bob that, that Bobcat blood goes deep. So uh, today we're going to get a little bit into the stress of selling your home. Yes. A lot of people go through this and... You know, it's always this thing that ebbs and flows. Everyone always hears those catchy terms like, oh, buyer's market, seller's market, and all this and that. But no one really breaks down what that all means. We all do know, though, if you've ever tried to sell a home, it's very stressful. Yeah, it can, it can be. Without the, the right strategy and process, it can be very stressful. So I think probably to start it off, finding the right realtor ah. the, that, you, that you connect with. Because it, it really is a business relationship, right? So it, oh, it's, yeah. it's one of those things that if you like the person you're working with and they have a strategy and so forth that you can believe in, I think it, it just starts making it that much easier. Because it should be fun. But at the same time, there is a lot of work to prepare your property. So what I'm hearing is uh, chemistry with your realtor is pretty important. Yes. Yes. I've never used chemistry before, but well, it's just like, but, but make, I get right? it. It yeah. is connection, right? Like I would say, if people like you and they trust you, they'll work with you. But then you need to then deliver what, what you say you're going to deliver, yeah. right? And that's, that carries over into not just here, into life in general, isn't it? That's a good life lesson. Hey, if you say you're going to do something, you tell people you're going to do it, you best be doing it. <laughs> I think my mom told me that when I was like three. So it's a good yeah. life lesson, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 And here we are to this day still saying that, and that's a good thing. So yeah, very much props so. To, uh, props to your mom. And hey, happy anniversary again. Big yeah, trip mom, and, mom dad and dad just had Hell a yeah. 50th anniversary, very and cool. so that's great that Ryan didn't show up to any of the podcasts, so <laughs> it's awesome. I saw Kev was there, though. Show it to Kev. Yeah, Kevin Bamford. Yeah. One of my favorite dudes, man. Love. Okay. This slowest, is turn... <laughs> slowest golfer ever. <laughs> this isn't going to turn into a family <laughs> podcast. We should be talking about this. I'm just a huge okay, fan sorry, of, your, of stress, you guys. The, the stress of the selling The stress of selling. Yeah. Oh, that's my fault, by the way. Yeah. I just love Kev. So, and love all <laughs> you guys. So, we're stressed out. We're looking to buy homes. Uh, trusting someone with your home's story. I think that's, we touched on that a little bit, the, the chemistry, use that term again, yeah. the re relationship with your realtor. Right. How do you get that trust? Yeah, I think it's interviewing a, a number of agents and understanding who they are and, and how they can help you, right? Because it, it really is, um, it's a process and, and it's a journey. And uh, some people take a lot longer to be able to prepare their properties. Like, I mean, we just recently sold uh, a couple people's ho homes, um, uh, both awesome clients that uh, one was a referral and uh, one was a family that we've known forever. But one lived in their homes for 39 years and the other one is 41. So, uh, so sometimes it, it can take someone six months to a year to prepare their home because they've been collecting things for a long time. And, it, and it's... Uh, it's a connection with a home that that can feel just stressful, even understanding the next step, right? Yeah, so not just preparing your home, preparing yourself and your brain mentally for that big move. Yeah, it, uh, and so we're there to try to make it easier for them um, because it, 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 it's still hard. It doesn't matter, right? Like, I mean, my, like, I live in my grandparents' house, right? Like I say, don't become emotional involved with, <laughs> with a home and do so as we say Mr. not as we Mr. do Mr. sentimental yeah. here right so it doesn't even yeah. but so but i've learned from that and I, I helping my parents sell our family home and moving them into another home i understand the the stresses and strategies just my my parents had right yeah. and so um the biggest thing is is preparing your home and so 
that's where uh, we meet you. We have our staging consultants come through. We've got people like Natasha that helps you help you declutter and also helps you pack away things. So we can help them with whatever our clients really need help with. We can help them with that that full journey of just the preparation because that's that's where that's a lot it. of the time is, right? Absolutely. So you get you get to that point, and then there's the whole you know the vulnerability of showing off your place, letting the world know like. Like this is this is how I live. This is my home. Come in here yeah. and totally don't judge me, please. Like yeah, that sort for, of ugh, well, moment. for sure. So if if you go into a builder's show home, oh. um, what what they usually have is they have um, not a lot of furniture. Yeah. Uh, they don't have personal pictures of all their employees sitting on the refrigerator or so forth, right? Yeah. They make it as clean as possible, yeah. and there's no outrageous colors. And, and so a lot of times, <laughs> it's just, I, I, I picture the times that I have done exactly this and you're going through the house and then you see all like the, the chips out of the wall and you see like the markers <laughs> written underneath where the, you know, the chairs are hiding this and that and all those sort of yeah. they're like openings of your soul. Well, th they can be. And so our job is to make sure that people see your property the best they possibly is, can. Yes. So then, so then that showing side and it might be harder because the house doesn't seem maybe like yours anymore. But at the same time, when a buyer comes into it, they can see themselves there. Yeah. And so that takes it out. So the, the showing side of it, depending on in our market right now, it's a huge selling market. So properties move super fast and you might get a ton of showings. Quite a few of our clients, we've actually moved them out of their properties. And so and they're like, so how does this work? And I yeah. was like... Well, you're either staying at a friend's house or you're grabbing a hotel room, right? You're but, grinding. But, but it actually makes way more sense than them having to leave every half an hour. I mean, we've sometimes had 18 showings in a day. Oh, you can't live in that. Well, what do you do? You just have to go meet, like, find time and hang out at people's houses that don't want you there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> I'm I just been here all like, day. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, I think it's time yeah. for you to go home. You're like, my last showing's at 9.30 so p.m. Close. Like. And um, <laughs> so all jokes aside, I mean, it, it just makes it a, a lot easier oh. if you're not right there because that makes it even more stressful, yeah. right? Like if you're like now having to put that on top of what you're yeah. already dealing with. A great right? analogy of that would be, and I, I've, I've brought this up a couple times. If you're like a trades worker and say you're going to a house to work on a furnace and you get in there, you get all set up to start doing your work and then the owner of the house sits down right beside <laughs> you. And I've actually had this happen before. So it's right beside you while you are working and judging every single thing you're doing. Yeah. You're not helping anyone, man. No. And that's why good. we suggest um, when, 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 our, when, our, uh, when we have our, our home inspector yeah. uh, go in and do an inspection, we go meet them after he's done the inspection because he doesn't need to be interrogated and he's going to no. miss something, right? Of course. So, and at the same time, Sometimes showings, people are a little bit early and they're a little bit late. Yeah. And so that extra pressure does, just doesn't help, right? No, so. Absolutely. So now we go from that, making yourself vulnerable, doing as best you can to work through that. And then the offers start rolling in. That emotional roller coaster of, oh, this much, oh, that much, oh, what, really that and sort of maintaining your brain. It, it, yeah, it, it, so it can be stressful because a lot of times you, in a multiple offer scenario, if it's presentation of offers, we don't get those offers till oh. usually right before the deadline. Yeah. And so even us as realtors, I you're mean, I, I some, well, it, you cheer on, you're hoping you're getting lots, yeah. but sometimes we don't get many until the very end. And yeah. you're like, I call it pie in the face. If we don't get any... If we don't get any offers, it's like, okay, what did I do wrong? Yeah. But I mean, luckily, I mean, we haven't had that happen lately. And so, um, but you just don't know when those offers are coming. And a lot of times they don't leave them open for a long period of time because they want them dealt with in, yeah. in a short period of like, a, that's so that, a part of it. Yeah. that's just part of it. It's the time frame and, and the, I guess the emotions that go into it of like, okay, how long do we have to have, uh, to this offer this, to deal with and so yeah. forth and sometimes it's two hours so Man. but i mean what we do is we get our clients ready for that so that they under and understand what could happen yeah so when it does Fair. happen multiple offers or just one offer we understand what we're looking at we're looking at home inspection we're looking at i guess one is the conditions one is the um i i guess it goes the possession 
and then the purchase price and how strong the offer is and the deposit, right? And so these are things that we help you deal with and give you the pros and cons on. Um, and at the same time, understanding how strong that offer is and if these people are pre-approved or not, which they should yeah. be, but they're not always. So that's our job is to do our own research for you that so that done. you can make your best interest. Yeah, and I, I've only ever bought a house once in my life. Okay. And I remember exactly where I was. I was at Candle Lake on a beach when it went through. And it, there's some back and forth. And it, it turned out we were like the last ones, the last survivors in this okay, sort of bidding. Yeah. And we finally met on a number. And just everything you just described, that roller coaster of like, will this be it? No, this, that. And it, it's like, it really is gambling, right? Like my, my gambling addictions were like, oh, this is fun. I want to buy some more houses, you know? <laughs> and it, that's the rush I got when in reality, uh, it's not, not gambling at all because you are, well, if it is, you're doing it on your own terms. And there's right. no one else, you know, giving you lines and giving you all this and that. It's, this is what we want to get in at. I hope we get it. Yeah, on the selling side, you have a lot more control than on the buying side. Yeah. Right? So the selling side is that, especially in the seller's market, we make the rules. Yeah. So it's, this is what the possession date we want. And then depending on the timeline of, of the, your property being on the market, I mean, we might be negotiable, we might not be, but a lot of times things, if it's priced right, could be selling yeah. for, for way over. And that's where the entire experience starts too, is with the setup for sale. Right. So you're setting all the groundwork for what's about to happen. For sure. So yeah. it's for timeline possession. Possession's probably your major one because it's like, what are you moving into? Where are you going? How what long do, do we need? Then? Right? Yeah, so th those sure. are big factors. So the possession date, um, how does that look like? What's included in the property? Uh, because yeah. a lot of times people, I mean, it, it, we got a freezer. It, <laughs> a it lot awesome. Of, a lot of people love freezers. Oh, yeah. They're so hard to move. <laughs> they're very hard. <laughs> yeah. I actually have one as a deep freeze in Here my, yeah. I might need one. I use it as a cold plunge now. So it's great. <laughs> Come on, really? Yeah, for Good sure. Good for you, saved man. A, saved a deal because man. nobody wanted this deep freeze. And it was like, it's as heavy as a car. Yeah. yeah. You're not moving it. You're not moving it. Why not make actually, it a cold Actually, 306 plunge. disposal. I that's, mean, they shout came out. In, yeah, shout out. They actually moved it to mine. It was cheaper moving it into my garage than taking it to the dump. I love that. And yeah. now you're still using it. For I'm a still totally using it. Thing. For yeah. your health, too. For my health, yeah. It freezes awesome. me a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> for, for a little sure. bit. But gets the rest of your body ready to go. So uh, the rest about preparing for possession. What else do you got to sort of? Uh, we be go aware through of? everything that's included. So it's a, if it's an inclusion, if uh, what you need to leave, how you need to leave it. Like we always say to our clients, they always ask. Everybody asks us, "How do I leave my house?" Yes. And I said, "Well, you want to leave your house the way that you'd want uh, you, you'd want to take possession, golden right? Rule, so yeah. it is a gold rule. Yeah. Like treat people the way that you'd That's like it. to be treated. It's pretty so simple, easy. right? So like, easy. and so it's awesome because you're leaving it. The next person's taking over your property and going to enjoy it, and they've got a great experience moving into it, and that puts that onto a positive side. And and, and so it's just understanding that before. Um, they, and then we do a walkthrough right before to make sure that everything was left and so there, forth yeah. before possession, right? So that's the that makes it a little bit easier. But we've got this all put into a process that we've got twelve, uh, basically a twelve-step process that gives them the understanding of this whole sales process so that they understand every single... Like a checklist. 100%. I love checklists. I'm always yeah. trying to tell the boys around here, just give me a checklist because I can't <laughs> focus on anything and just let me check mark each thing off as I go. Yeah. It's very simple, very easy. I can even do that. Yeah, for I sure. I appreciate a checklist. All right, is there anything else we uh, need to get to here? Um, no, I mean, I, I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, evaluations, when we go to do evaluations for clients, uh, a lot of times that uh, they might be looking to sell right away or looking to sell in the future. Um, and so that's something, understanding the price point of your home and then what your, I guess, plan and your journey is going to be is probably one of the biggest things yeah. because that'll create less stress when you understand where you're going and, and what, what your want. property's worth, right? So yes. those are the two things when we're looking at taking the stress out of the sale of your home. I think that's kind of what we focus on. So that's fantastic. Well, Hey, I really appreciate you uh, always giving us some time here again. Love the show. Huge fan over here. Uh, where can people go to share their experiences and sort of check in and say, Hey, what about this or that? Yeah, it's awesome. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, message us. We'd love to hear from you and uh, pick some topics that uh, you'd love us to cover because we we'd be happy to do that for you. Dude, thank you so much for having me on. It's been a great experience. Cheers, my friend. Okay, I'm, I'm a little sweaty. It's all good. Can't wait to see you next week. Okay. <laughs>